Hi guys, today is a pro review day. We got a wonderful clamp meter from the brand GBDA. This company has very interesting products and I will leave you the links down below in the video's description. Now let's learn a little bit about this kind of device and the new technology and the features it has. It has a beautiful case made in material. It's not so hard, but also it's not soft. It's very nice. And the test leads, please pay attention to it because the cap of the tip is rated as a category three, but the tip itself is 10 amperes, 600 volts, category two. So please pay attention. If you're going to do something in electrical panels, probably you will need to change the test leads. Like today's many test devices, it includes the thermocouple standard one with banana connectors. I got one bad news and a good one too. The bad news is it comes without battery. Okay, nothing serious. We need to save room to compact the package and uh, give some safety to the product. So it's okay. In some countries, the batteries are taken away and it's prohibited to enter. That's not a major issue. The problem I got is I didn't have regular batteries for it. So I tried my rechargeable batteries. And guess what? And as you can watch now, there is no sign of low battery. It works with rechargeable batteries. That's the good news. Operation mode is very easy. With function, you can switch the functions amperes, volts, ohms, continuity, diode test, millivolts, Frequency and duty cycle, capacitance meter, uh, temperature, and the non-contact voltage. Also, you can return to the smart, the auto mode. You can tell the device if you want to keep on the screen and hold the maximum or minimum. But you need to, in that case, to get it out of the auto, or to enter in the measurement. So now I can ask here if I want to hold the maximum voltage or the minimum voltage. Also, if I am doing one measurement and I want to capture the measurement, I can punch the button hold. Holding it is gone. I have selection too, and I can switch between the internal functions like the voltage AC, here I have the voltage and here the frequency, or to voltage DC as example. And in that case, I have the voltage here and there I will have the temperature. If I hold it, goes to auto. If I am in the current, I can select for to zero the values and zero the values is something that in all the devices you have to do more than once to get the right value. Correct now or you can hold it, it's going away, but if I press twice, I will get in rush current. With in rush current, I can detect the maximum peak of consumption. I'm not talking about the maximum average value is the peak in the starting on the motors. 
Now let's take a look for it. For the following test, I'm going to do the inrush test because I can not get 600 amperes to make a test here. Maybe the ones who are working with solar panels can approach better this uh, plant meter and get that measurement. But I can make the test for the inrush current on my drill. Everything is in zero, AC. On my power meter, and hook it to the serial wire. But it's here where it matters. So if I press the button maximum, I will get the maximum consumed from the drill. Let's make a test now. And there is max. Two point ninety seven amps. That's the maximum current pressing the button to the last in on the drill. But what is the initial peak in the starting? That's what we call the inrush current. And this device has its feature, so let's watch it. Max off. Zero. In rush. Aha! Uh -huh. The maximum current was almost 3 amperes, but the peak of the starting is 7 amperes. That's what we call the inrush current, and not all the clamp meters comes with that feature. Something very common in this kind of devices is there is no color difference for the banana connectors but there is always a printing about where is the common and where is the input. What is auto means? Okay, I will tell you. Auto means is auto scale. It's, we're not talking this time about auto range, that yes, it's, it is auto range. But in this case, the microcontroller is also selecting the function. So the microcontroller will detect if we are making measurements automatically, amperes, volts, ohms, or continuity. And that's great because it's safe from the human mistake, the wrong polarization or the wrong connection the microcontroller is taking care of that. So it's a very safety device to use because if you apply voltage in ohms, you will blow the device. But in this case, the microcontroller will inspect what you are applying and will connect the right function. These kind of devices are not for calibration. They are just for a measurement and is good enough to know what is going on. But don't expect here to have four digits and a half, five digits, six digits, because we have the minimum of digits of, uh, as possible. And also, what is important is to be on the specifications and tolerance. In this case, if I'm going to do a measurement in the 60 volts scale, I will probably have in DC 0 0.5 plus or 0 0.5 minus percent.
in this case I have 9.98 here is the voltage reference and in one multimeter with more precision this is the voltage from the voltage reference 10 volts so our clamp meter is on the specifications next test is resistors One ohm and it takes as continuity. Ten ohms also in the function auto it seems as continuity. One hundred ohms. One kilo ohm, ten kilo ohms, one hundred kilo ohms, one mega ohm. Ten mega ohms. It's important to tell that this kind of device can make measurements up to sixty mega ohms. And the reason why I didn't take it out from auto to make the resistors measurement, it was because I want you to appreciate how fast it will make the resistors measurement being in auto. Now it's in diodes. Let's try some LEDs. Red, yellow, green, blue. and white nice there is here a capacitor 3.5 microfarads plus minus 5% already used and let's find out what do we have here with an average capacitance meter I got 3.47 from the expected 3.5 microfarads and our GPDA clamp meter says 3.485 3.48 microfarads but it's very close the device is on the specifications also, you want to know about the continuity test, about the test leads. So, let's make a continuity test like that. Okay, it's fast. I like it has a light and also, very important, not in all devices, you have the analog bar that's great I like the device it has a beautiful color screen and I couldn't resist the temptation to go out and take some pictures I took one against the wall then I got in the garden because maybe you will say I'm cheating and I took the picture 
in the middle of the garden and I also point the screen against the light. So for any of the scenarios, the screen was wonderful and passed the test. I also took some pictures trying to get different angles to see, to find out if it was visible from everywhere. And I got very surprised because the screen has a nice view from any angle you will try on it. With that beautiful color screen, the auto function makes a multimeter smart. And many, many features like this one as example is out of the average, safety first. I like it a lot. Guys, I want to thank GVDA for sponsoring this device. This is the GD166V and it's the one that has the DC current uh, measurement on the clamp. I want to thank the company for trusting us and to sponsor this device. I invite anybody to buy one if you want. The link is down below in the video description. Thanks GVDA for your support. Thanks for sponsoring this device. And we will watch it in future videos. Also, why not? True RMS and clamp meter and what is, what is more important, the auto function that it doesn't matter if you're doing current voltage, ohms or continuity, the microcontroller will take care of that. Safety first. Recommended for any beginner and why not for professionals on the field too. Thanks for watching the video. See you next time. I think the product deserves a like. And don't forget to give a like to us if the video was worth it to you and share it. Thank you again.